Hey guys, welcome to our yet to be named series. If you've got a suggestion on the name, let us know. Basically, we've got a form on the website, link in the description. You tell us a little bit about what you're looking for in your perfect camper, and then we'll go out on the lot and find two or three that as close as possible match for you to pick from. So let's just jump right in. This first one was a little challenging. This first entry came from Liz. Liz has a family of two. Her budget is $45 to $50,000 range. She has a Ford F-350 truck, so no problem with towing. She really liked the toy haulers, which that's where we get into a little issue budget-wise, but I've got a little something. They're gonna be doing full-time living in this. They're actually traveling and doing mission work, and they're gonna be going to Oklahoma, Arizona, Tennessee. Some of the things that she would really like is she wanted a fireplace, she wanted a bath and a half, she wanted a king bed, two ACs. So she did also mention in addition to toy haulers that her and her husband really liked the Cougars. Trying to stay budget conscious, we're gonna start with this Cougar 30 RLS. First and foremost, it only weighs 9,180 pounds. So that Ford F-350 can pull this no problem at all. The total length of it is 33 feet, six inches. So it's pretty short, but still very spacious and it comes in under her fifty thousand dollar budget at forty six thousand four hundred and fifty so let's take a tour of it real quick so as you see on this side we do have a campsite slide so they provide you two awnings so you've got double the shade sometimes you'll see if you have a slide on your campsite they won't have that extra awning so you're faced with a much shorter awning this one you don't have that problem you have a very nice pass-through storage on this so you guys are talking full-time living You've got plenty of outside space here for storage. You do also have a space out here to hook up a TV. So if you and your husband want to relax, sit outside and watch a TV, you've got a space to do it. Back here on the back, it does have a ladder. So it is a fully walkable roof. That means it's going to be super easy for you guys to get up there and clean and maintain it, as well as get up there and check your slides before you run them in. If you guys are camping in a really wooded area or something where stuff's going to fall on the camper, you are uh, backup camera ready. There's a little prep involved in this one. It's not as easy as popping it in, but there's still the wiring and stuff there. So that's going to make that nice and easy. Let's go check out the other side here. On the opposite side of that pass-through storage, I wanted to show you your outside command central. So you have an exterior shower, you have all of your water hookups as well as your tank flushes. But what's really nice also is if you go to winterize this, you've got everything right here, all nice, neat, and handy. Now, let's go check out the inside. Okay, so here we are inside that 30 RLS. And one thing you'll note is the absolute beautiful interior colors of it. They went light, bright, you've got a ton of windows. It feels, it is very spacious in here, but it feels even bigger than it is. You have your freestanding dinette. I've had this in all of my campers. I love it. It's great for dinner. It's great for cards. It's great for board games. Just a nice space right there. We have our theater seats. So you and your husband can sit here and relax after a long day of working out, doing your mission work. You've got cup holders, you have heat, you have massage. Heat would be great when it gets a little chilly out, even like this morning where it's like 50 degrees. You've got that. You do have a jackknife sofa that will turn into a bed. So if you do have some friends that want to come stay with you, you've got a space for them. And on both sides, you have end tables that have some storage below them. And you'll note that there is USB and regular charging on both sides there. Also want to point out you have some storage up there. I know when full-time living comes in, you need a lot of spots, a lot of space for storage. You've got that there. Your seating area is directly across from your entertainment area. One of your check boxes was a fireplace. This has a nice big electric fireplace. Great thing about that, you're going to be using the campground's electricity. You're not going to have to worry about using your propane or anything. Nice size TV that is on a swivel. So not that you really need to move it around much, but you've got that option. We have our Blu-ray CD DVD player down here so you can watch movies and stuff in the evening. And then I'm gonna pan around here. We're gonna start talking about the kitchen. We talk about storage, full-time living. You have a massive pantry. I mean, it's a very deep pantry, movable shelves, so it'll accommodate pretty much whatever you wanna put in there. 
we have our stainless steel refrigerator. Very nice size. You could put a week's worth of groceries in here, maybe even more, depending on what you were making. Then you'll know we have this huge kitchen island with a 50-50 stainless steel sink, detachable sprayer, and down below, you'll see we have cabinets as well as drawers. You have uh, four drawers here, so plenty of spots for your utensils and stuff. We have our three burner cooktop stove with the glass backdrop or backsplash, I should say. So this will fold up and act as a backsplash microwave and additional cabinets as well as countertop prep area. And then if we didn't already have enough space in here, look at all of this cabinetry. So you can have your little breakfast bar here, your Keurig, whatever you wanted. And again, more storage. Now let's go check out the bathroom and last but not least the bedroom. So you see in our bathroom, we have the sit down shower, which in my opinion is a must. I've had it in all my campers. Toilet, which is kind of mandatory for a bathroom. You have a place over to your left for storing your towels and your toiletries. And then our sink has double storage below it, or I should say a cabinet and some drawers below it, and then a nice big medicine cabinet. So a very nice sized bathroom. And then last but not least, one of your requests was a king bed. We do have a king bed. That king bed does have storage underneath it. Actually, it's a queen bed. It's a queen bed. It's a queen bed, a queen bed Greer. I saw you look at it. So I didn't check box your, your king bed, but I got you a queen bed. It does have storage underneath it. You have nightstands on both sides of the bed. So plenty of room if you need a CPAP machine, charge your phone, your iPads. And both sides actually have little storage underneath so you can hide snacks and stuff in there if you want. We have a nice big closet over here that does have drawers along the bottom as well as a place to hang stuff. So you can hang your nicer clothes for work. You are ported for a second AC in here. I know that was one of your requests. So you are ported for a second AC in here. And then you have a LCD wall mount in here so you can actually put a TV and you and your husband can come back here and relax in the bedroom. So that is the 30 RLS. I'm gonna take you to my next one. I have two more to show you guys, so stay tuned. So on to camper number two. That first Cougar I showed you was part of our half ton series. This is a full Cougar. This is the 316 RLS, not much heavier. You're gonna go up to 10,400 pounds on this. So about a thousand pounds heavier than the other camper. You're gonna gain a couple of feet. This is 35 feet, nine inches. And you are gonna be right at that top of your budget at $54,850. But I think this again, checks a lot of the boxes you're looking for. Let's take a look at it. Again, on this side, you do have the uh, campsite slide. You do still have the two awnings, outside speakers. You have that nice big pass-through storage again. Ample storage. Then on the other side, very similar to the other camper with our outside command center. So basically all your same features and stuff here. And then on the back, again, exact same. You have your ladder, you have your camera ready. So again, the wiring's there. It's not quite a pop in and go like some of them, but still pretty simple. Let's go check out the inside now. Okay, so here we are inside the 316. Similar layout, but different enough that, that it may stand out to you and you'll love it. We do still have that freestanding dinette that I was telling you about that I love in the campers. We still have our couch or our uh, theater seats. And one of the things that I forgot to point out, one of your requests was not a leather couch, but a material couch. I've got that in both of these for you. So this is your theater seats with your heat, your massage, all that good stuff. You've got that same jackknife sofa with the end tables on both sides. Your entertainment system, very similar. And again, you have that fireplace. I know that was something important to you guys. And then when we look at the kitchen, similar but different. We still have that nice big island that does feature plenty of storage below it. We've got storage over here next to our three burner stove, microwave, again, more storage. One of the things you gain in this one is actually a residential sized refrigerator. So as you can see, you're not gonna have any problem storing food in this. 
Now, one of the cool things about these refrigerators, I have a very similar one in my Cougar. One of the cool things with this is you do have an inverter on this. So when you're going down the road, it actually will stay running for you uh, using that inverter in your battery, which is pretty cool. You have a smaller breakfast nook area, but you still have a lot of space over here. And you didn't lose that pantry and just moved to a different spot, which is pretty nice. Let's go check out the bathroom and the bedroom. Bathroom wise, we still have that sit down shower, which I absolutely love. Toilet, of course. You gain some additional storage here. You have a storage there as well as here to the left. And then this one actually features the dual sinks. So you have two sinks and two different sets of cabinets and drawers that you guys can split up and fight over. Now in this one, we do have a king bed. Voila, we got a king bed. It does have storage underneath it. Directly across from it, we have a bank of drawers for you. So you've got lots of storage space there. LCD mount in here so you can still have a, a uh, TV in the bedroom. You can add that second AC, no problem at all. You're already prepped for it. And then in this one, the closet is actually a little bit bigger. And Greer, if you'll pan over there, you have a little secret cubby area over there. And this one is actually washer dryer prep, which I thought would be something you guys would really like being full-time staying in it. You're not gonna have to run up to the campground laundromat all the time. You can do your laundry right here. If you don't want to do that, you're just afforded extra storage. So I got one more for you. Let's go check it out. Okay, Liz, here's your last camper and it's gonna check pretty much all your boxes except for your budget. Now we do have some travel trailer toy haulers that I could get you into your budget, but you did mention fifth wheel. So I wanted to show you the bad boy, okay? This one is gonna be at $69,000. So like I said, we're outside your budget. This is the, what is this model, Griff? 4007G2. Yeah, 4007G2, and it's the Rogue Armored. I'm gonna take you guys for a tour. As you see up here at the front, you've got a lot of storage. You have access to your pass-through storage from the front. You are also, gener you do have a generator on board. So if you plan on doing some boondocking in any of those locations, you've got the spot for it. Here, watch your head. Show you that pass-through storage. Again, it's big, it's not huge compared to a lot of the models, but the reason is you've got all that space in the back. You've got a 14 foot, six inch garage on this bad boy. So let's go take a tour of the other side. Now on this side, you don't have a camp side slide, but you do have two awnings because this camper is so long and I'll get weight and length here in just a minute. But the camper is so long that they're giving you two awnings. You're getting probably 80% shade cover on this side, maybe 85%. You have a very nice outside kitchen. So you've got your refrigerator, you've got a place to put a uh, grill, and it even comes with an ice maker. And these things are cool. My wife and I have been talking about getting one. One of our friends had one when we went camping. It's awesome. Show you the garage from back here. Oh, good. Let's back up. Let's back up. Let's do weight and length real quick so I don't forget. So the dry weight on this is 12,920. So your 350 shouldn't have a problem with that. And your overall length is 45 feet, four inches. So this is going to give you the most living space out of any of the units I showed you. In its up position, it does obviously serve as a ramp so you can get your toys in there, but in your up position, it's actually additional living space. So you've got rail system right there that's gonna come out and lock into place here, and that's gonna make it kid-friendly and pet-friendly. I don't know if you guys have pets, you didn't mention that. This is gonna be a very nice living space for you that, you know, on a beautiful day like today, if you've got a view like I got, you can sit out here and have your lunch or your dinner, it's great. You also have a ladder that's going to make the roof fully walkable so again easy for cleaning and main maintaining and you do have a 30 gallon gas tank on this with a dispenser so if you guys are hauling any toys or you see some extra gas you got it right there let's go check out the inside okay liz we're starting in the bedroom very pretty bedroom i've got your king size bed you guys wanted so you've got a nice big king size bed you have a ton of storage up above behind that bed 
You have a TV back here in the wall, so you can watch TV back here in the bedroom. AC back here in the bedroom. I think this has three. I need to double check. I know it at least has two. It possibly has three. You've got a nice place to put whatever you want here. A lot of drawer and closet space, as well as nightstand on this side with drawers. Is there a small, yeah, there's a small nightstand on that side and you're gonna get USB as well as regular charging there. And Greer, if you just wanna go in there, I'll come to this side. Pass through bathroom, huge bathroom. You've got that neo angled shower with that really cool shower head. You've got the detachable shower and then it's got like a mid and a lower spray. You've got medicine cabinet above your sink, storage below your sink. And then Greer, if you wanna show them over here, you actually have a lot of storage there for your towels and toiletries. All right, let's check out the rest of this bad boy. So now we come into our kitchen area. Directly to Greer's right, we have our residential size stainless steel refrigerator with the cool little glass in it. I love that. But this has a massive, I don't know how to open this, there we go, massive amount of storage space. Again, we're talking full-time living. This checks all the boxes for you guys. Kitchen area, we've got this U-shaped kitchen area. As you see, we've got drawers and cabinets down below, our three burner stove, some storage up above, and then we've got this really cool looking residential sized microwave. Like you can fit anything you need to in there. You can just pull here. Nice size microwave. Pantry, we didn't lose your pantry. Got a nice deep pantry there, again, Thinking about full-time living, lots of space. Your sink is actually really cool. It's like a blackish brown, I don't know what would you call it, pewter? Yeah, like a pewter color. Even comes with soap dispenser. Your seating area, really cool. I know there's only two of you. You guys can cozy up there and have your lunches and dinners together. TV is mounted on the wall there. Again, more storage over there. Then you have Nice couch, the two sides do fold out into recliners and you do still have the heat and the massage and all that good stuff, which is nice. And then last but certainly not least, our, our uh, garage. This is pretty cool. This is our bathroom. So it's a little half bath. But what's really cool about this is if you are hauling toys, you can actually collapse this back and give yourself more room to pull your toy in. You are washer dryer prepped in this unit just like the big cougar that I showed you. So again, that's gonna be nice for that full-time living. You do have a bunk up here, uh, but you know, it's just the two of you, you guys could use that for additional storage since you're doing the full-time living. And then third AC, so it does have three ACs. I missed the AC in the living room, but there is an AC in there. Third AC, you've got a bed here. It is a manual bed, so you lift that up and put it up, but you got a bed here and then you have two couches on each side. So you can bring those down. And like I said, on a day like today, sit out here, enjoy the air. What's really cool too, is there's actually a curtain up there. So if the bugs are bad, you can pull that curtain down and you can still use this space and avoid the bugs. But you've got those two couches. Those will also turn into a bed. So if you do have friends and family that do wanna come stay with you, you really have more sleeping options in this unit. I've also seen a lot of full-time people turn this space into like an office space, a usable office space. You have that second entry here. So that ends this episode of insert name here. Hopefully we'll come up with a name soon. <laughs> One more thing. Greer just reminded me. I, I, we stopped the video. We were done. I'm going to cut this in. One of your requests was a fireplace. You got a fireplace. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to take part in the show, click the link in the description, fill out the form. We're not asking for any personal information whatsoever, just what you're looking for in a camper. Each Friday, probably afternoon, we'll release a new video and we'll feature at least two, hopefully three campers that somewhat fit in your request range. Guys, as always, thanks for watching and happy camping.